Get in here to your spiritual nourishment. This is going to be for all signs. I am your shaman empress, a.k.a. the shaman hummingbird here for you guys. All right. Let's go ahead and jump in. This um, is going to be a general timeless. All right. So whenever you are seeing it, that's when you're supposed to see it. All right. Um, these are general here. So just take what is for you guys and simply leave what is not. Okay, guys, um, if you need anything personal from me, we are open for personal readings, all right? Um, Zoom readings, that is. The camera is optional on Zoom. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to your Aries Only placement, Love Tarot. Ooh, where um, anywhere Aries in your chart, you will and can resonate with those messages. So, let's jump into this. Ooh, child, you got it popping early. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so um, someone here feels heartbroken. Someone here feels heartbroken. Whether this is you or this person, we have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. We have Libra and Cancerian um energy here. I'm also hearing um, Geminian energy. Cancerian, Aquarian. There's strong earth energy here. Someone here, um, they've been enlightened about somebody else. Somebody here, somebody else have seen or noticed that you've been getting company, you have gotten company, or this person saw somebody at your house, parked at your house with the tinted pumpkins. This is somebody here that could have went spying, five of swords to the page of pentacles to get information or had somebody do this and they feel terrible. I, somebody here may not, um, because what they got is a page as far as their information, um, page of pumpkins, very earth, strong earth energy, Capricorn, Tessorian, Virgo. What they got is very little, but they were unhappy, um, about this. Now for others of you guys, there's somebody here is heartbroken. All right, this person here has been getting enlightenment from source. Somebody here feels like that you want to move on, that you want to connect with somebody else, that you want to build a tin of pumpkins with somebody else. All right, um, that's what they're that's what they're 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 figuring out. Someone here also could feel like you know um they were manipulated by you or in this situation or this is you feeling manipulated. I feel like this person tried to manipulate you. I feel like um, there was this, you know, some kind of five of swords is all about mind games, page of swords. You know, they were playing mind games about what they were offering. It wasn't much. Um, this person didn't have anything to offer but the page. But they could have made it look like they were going to offer like the ten of pent pentacles with the five of swords here. Okay, someone's familiar here could have pr um, protected, uh, protected them as well. This queen of cups. Okay. Um... Also is what I'm getting. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. And someone here is 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 disappointed. I feel like um I feel like someone here has gotten enlightenment from source that you are going to get a new um beginning here or you're going to have another connection. They found this out some kind of way or they're figuring this out. All right. Um, or someone else is also interested in you. MW and S can be specific here. We also have Leo energy. All right, let's get your angel number, guys. So um, we got three. Three is here. Four, five. Three, three, four, five. All right, guys, angel number 3345 encourages you to maintain positive energy and focus on your spiritual development. You are reminded that everything is, inter is interconnected. I guess that's how you say that. And that the universe is conspiring you. In your favor, it's conspiring in your favor. This is a sign that you have the power to create anything you desire in your life. This is what this person found out about you. Now, also, what I'm getting here, someone here also could have told some told this person the three of cups um to the page of pentacles purposely that you were dating somebody else. And this was on purposely with the five of swords. Someone here uses um, tea tree oil. 
or something like that. Some of you guys have been carving pumpkins. You could be um, having pumpkins outside or inside of your home that you carved. Someone here is having like a Halloween birthday party or something like that. Or maybe your birthday is around Halloween. Mm-hmm. And someone here feels some kind of way. What's the Five of Swords? Yeah, they did. Secret. Someone here told this person that you... Or something like that. They feel like this. They they got enlightened on this some sort of way. Someone here could have told them this. What's the Five of Damn. I'm sorry, y'all. Can I get a couple? Yeah, Ace of Wands. That you met somebody new. You're taking action. What is, thank you. I was only going to ask for a couple cards, guys, and that's what they gave me. Yep, Ace of Potions. That you want to see somebody new. Um, here, balance. You've been seeing somebody new. Yep, and that's why you've been so distant from them. Yep, this King of Potions. The King and the Queen of Potions here. And this created a tower. What the fuck? Yeah, Ten of Lightning. Now, why do I feel like somebody did this? Because they didn't want you and your person to talk. You know, they didn't. They wanted this person to juggle you. Let's take a look. Hold on. So, this person's having a damn it moment. It. Yeah, hold up. Because y'all coming out as a pair still. What was the page of uh, um, pumpkins? Someone here also could have paid for uh, um, information on you or to look up something on you and something like that. Whatever happened, this person was let down. With the page of pumpkins and the three of swords, um, here, they were let down some kind of way. The six of... I told you. Yeah, they paid for this. Damn, yup. King of swords, they found out what was going on. The figure out two of swords, what they couldn't see. That's what they snuck and did. Queen of swords and the three of, pumpkin, three of pumpkins. The king and the queen... This person found out she wasn't talking to nobody. Oh, my gosh. Then they started thinking about shit in the past and why they listened to this person. So this person acted out of something. Somebody here was, like, hating on you, didn't, like, want you to be with this person or something like that. That's why this person is in the four of potions. That's why they're depressed. Show me, um, show me the four of potions. Awesome. Yeah, this King of Cups. Oh my gosh, you're a person. Because you're coming out as the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Potions. Yeah, because they wish they would have moved slower and took a better look at what was in front of them. Yup, Nine of Cups. Damn, the Seven of Pentacles would have invested, waited, yup, before they went on this journey or before they walked away and blocked you and did what they did, made another offer into this innate. Yeah, so they could have did some other shit or just caused them to have some sort of new start, whether this is with being single or with somebody else. Damn. Um, all right. Child, hold on, hold on. What's the Three of Swords? Almighty, beautiful universe and Holy Spirits. This person is like swole when this person found out the truth. So, Page of Swords, Three of Swords. Somebody here could have real evidence now. They could have went and like um, also bad herself or even had somebody pay a gap to do their own. Somebody told somebody something. And it's up, somebody here could have paid for some kind of, this could even be research. All right, to find out the truth or some sort of way or paid somebody. Child, what, yep. What's the three of swords? Yes, that was the enlightenment. And when they got enlightenment here, oh my God. The moon card. Seven of pentacles. They realized it was an illusion they was invested in. Yep. When they took action. And did this, and they were saying, but it fell back and didn't do what they did when they paid for this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now they're under judgment and they feel stuck because of what the Three of Cups told them. Why did the Three of Cups do this? What, what was the person? Somebody here is hating on you or don't want you with this person. What's the Three of Cups? Mm, the Three of Swords. I told you, the Knight of Swords. And this person made a quick move, said something real quick and fast, whatever they did, to block y'all, yup, to cause illusions and con fucking confusion and stuff the cups. And now this person has the Four of Cups because they made a move based on 
something that they didn't know. Now they want to heal shit, yup. Mm, and owe you an apology. Um, hold on, y'all, because we're going to see what came out of this goddamn illusion. Because they are hot. They did something. What's the uh, moon card? This is like, oh my gosh. Yeah, the truth. The truth. The truth was hidden in the secrets. The truth was hidden in the motherfucking shit. Damn it, that was a damn it Piscean moment. energy. What's, what came out the moon card? The truth. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Seven of swords and the four of wands. Yup. That somebody here was trying to block, was being sneaky to block. You guys. This person also could have found out that somebody um really didn't care for you or didn't like you. Yep, they was blocking y'all seven pentacles. Y'all being together. Yeah, they were four swords. They didn't want they didn't want this king of wands to make this move towards you. They wanted them to feel stuck and hold back. Three of swords it, uh, feel heartbroken. So that's why they draw they like made up all this confusion. Damn. Damn it. And this could be somebody that wants to block your person and just don't want them to go forward. Which means still towards you. Take it how it resonates. This is crazy. I'm seeing, yeah, they didn't want this person to meet up with you, connect with you, or nothing. Now somebody here is in spiritual court because of this. Could have got spiritually arrested. Yep. Mm -mm. Yeah. Someone here found somebody wasn't loyal. They was fake. Yep, it took them a while. I told you, court. Oh, my That's gosh. Absolutely insane. Woo, baby. Now, a meeting. I told you, meet up. Now, this person wants to meet up with you. Yep, I told you. They was talking to one of your enemies. Yeah. And I told you, they was giving this person um gift money, doing shit to get information. Oh, my gosh. We can't, show me something more about the enemy. I wouldn't be surprised if the 7th house, the 10th house here, or the ninth house come out. Money, I, I was paying an enemy of yours to look up shit, yep, to look up where you live, everything, yep, because they were trying to reconnect with you, reunion, but this person lied. They said you was fucking with somebody else. 35, 23 could be an angel number here, yep. This person was mad as hell, Mil militant, military. Someone here could also be in the military, but see, you were protected. God protected this. Falseness. Now someone who realized they was falseness and acting childish. Yeah, falseness with a false person, and that fucking changed everything. Oh my gosh. Damn it. Damn. Um, child, I just don't know. I just be trying to understand. That people, instead of getting their own information, they want to go through this shit and do all this. And then by the time they found what well, causes somebody to get their own information anyway to find out the truth that they should have did from the beginning. Because you never know who could be lying. Mmm. People, I'm telling you, this got messy. This got real messy. People are messy. Yup, you effed up. Oh my gosh. Someone here also could be getting readings, asking questions. Readings, all right? Um, Someone here um, could be like on a diet. You or your person, you might know diet. Um, could be your confirmation. It isn't personal. It isn't because it's based off of somebody else's perception of what they wanted them to believe about you. Yeah, someone here wants you to keep shit clean, clean up. Maybe they never told you that. Let's read the back. Gross bathrooms and dirty floors. So this person might think you're, you, 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 you know. Now listen, child, hold up. Um, let me explain. Okay. Now, we all have our own definition because people are tedious. So, what you're clean could be different to somebody else's clean. So, some, somebody here feels like, you know, they want shit extra clean maybe when they come over, okay? All right? Not talking about anybody here or anything like that. So, I'm trying to co control every damn thing. Yeah. And that's what this person was trying to do. Your friends miss your face. So, for some of you guys, your friends miss you. For um as well. Also, this could be a fake ass friend. Yep, check yourself. Yeah. <sighs> Interrupting is for assholes. This person wants to talk, wants to speak, but they might um they don't want you to interrupt. They just want you to listen. Um, this person, whatever they found out. They found out the truth. Yeah, they just confirmed that for me. Someone here also knows that you're on a diet. This person also could, yeah. And they also could feel like, you know, um, maybe, you know, you are the type where you're not dating or have nobody else. You don't 
Um, you know, you ain't worried about the bathroom being extra clean and shit like that. Just so you know that, because that's what they're saying um, here. But something here is people are messy and things got messy here. This was based on a third situation. Somebody here, this could be an enemy of you or your person. This could be someone of your person that's not fond about you. Take it how it resonates. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. This is crazy. Now this person's swollen. Mm -hmm. There's the written messages here for the collective. What's the written messages for the collective? Mm -mm -mm. Damn. I can't come to you now. So this is somebody that's saying they can't come to you now. I wish I could be a different person. Damn. It is dark without you. This person misses you. This is also someone here that sits in the dark and think about you. I can't express myself. Nope. This person feels, they're in spiritual court. They feel stuck. This is somebody here. They're not making a move towards what you know because they feel what they thought you were doing, they moved off what they thought they knew because what they were being told, which was a lie. This passion is too much. Yep. And now it's, you know, it's too much. Someone here also could be, uh, feel like, you know, they ruined this. I, I, uh, I am stuck in visions of up together. I told you. And they do this a lot in the dark. They think about you or something like that is here. Don't um treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Oh, why do I feel this way? So this is also someone here that could feel like, you know, maybe you got cutthroat. Maybe you just cut everything off. Yup, yup. Look, don't put up with my bullshit. Yeah, because you ain't putting up with this bullshit. It's like, what is going on? Like, weird shit is happening. You know, they're moving funny based off of what the fuck they were. Thought they heard. How could you ever forgive this mess I made? I told you. This person um also could be ending this because they never think that you're going to forgive them because of what they did to you. It was uncalled for, unnecessary, because it wasn't based on actual facts. And the, that's a, that's facts. Let's get a love local message. That's what this is. Yeah, we got the king of ones and the queen of cups is here as well. So this person here, this is somebody that now, you know, they, they're ready to take some kind of action. But for some of you, I mean, um, you know, or, you know... Whether this is walking away or something. But they're ready. Because they went from the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. The King of Cups to the King of Wands. Excuse me. You're the Queen of Cups. Eager. Eager. Intimate action. I told you. This person's eager to make a move. And this is someone here that wants to look good for you. Um, Someone here also could want to give you something. Or thought about giving you something. Thinking that would, um, yep, mm -hmm, make you, you know, maybe conceal a deal, which is kind of a dark deal because of the energy that they are in when they were going through this with you. Yeah, I told you, secret help. Someone here also could have said, um, yeah, that you moved on. You ended this cycle, whatever this is. And um, now this person, when they realize that that was a lie, they're ready to confess this love to you. Uh, for some of you guys, this looks like also somebody here that could feel like, you know, you're not going to forgive them. Or if they feel or get a sense of that, they, um, they're going to walk away. And they know they were being a fucking narcissist. This is what this all stems from. Yep, step forward. All right. So um, take it how it resonates for you guys. Let's get some letters. Um, this person could be connected to your sacral chakra. Yeah. All right, so you could be feeling this person. We could, we got J and we have G. Yep, hermaphrodite. This was, hermaphrodite spiritual meaning is a spiritual wedding. You guys um, are spiritual. This is your spirit husband, your spirit, your spirit wife. I'm um, here. We got D. We also have A. Pull one from the back. They said, yeah, throat chakra. See, this the thing is this person wants to speak. They may know, not know how. And they could feel like because of, you know, the illusions that was made here based off of what they think that you're never going to, like, um, forgive them. Hmm. Someone here could be from Georgia. All right. Oh, let's get you some C melodies. 
Let's see what's going on. Let the mermans talk and see what's going on. What's this? See Melody's. Oh, thank you. A lot. Choose wisely. <laughs> And they didn't make a wise choice. Now they need rescue. But see, the thing is, this person goes back and forth. They just said that, yep. They battle between the King of Cups and the, and the King of Wands. <sighs> because they're in their feelings, but they need healing. You could be a star seed or connected to a star seed. But they feel like um they that you guys can make it through this. Yeah, but you, you're going to have to have patience. Because of how this shit went down. Direction and flow. Yeah. And just kind of move with the flow, kind of like, you know, like tap into that energy frequency with them and meditate, you know, get your ideas, your mental together, your thoughts, you know, what you want to do, dream, how you want things to go, how you want the future to um come in between them. Yeah, so you guys can have another chance. All right. So that's also a thing like. Uh, that this person could be dealing with is in a secret. Because the moon could be this person in the dark keeping also stuff to herself. That's an illusion. Not just always being secretive too. Okay? So they're, they're hiding this. That this is kind of what they want now that they know the truth. But they were acting um, and their energy was based off of something they thought that was that wasn't even fucking true. And they realized that somebody was an enemy. They was listening to an enemy. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, yep, now they want a rebirth. Pluto, scorpion energy. You could be connected to a scorpion or a Virgo. They stressed out here, honey. The house of health. Oh, my beautiful universe of Holy Spirit. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is um, Saturn and Planets for the Collective. What's this? Oh, Uranus, Aqua Arian. Yeah, now that things came to light. We're in the era of Aquarian, honey. See, this person is in their feelings. An unusual example of a different way of looking at an unexpected change. And that's exactly what they're going through. We're in the era of Aqua anything, Aquarian. <laughs> you can find out anything really at your fingertips. Really online. And they could that's what I'm saying. You know, you could even pay for stuff to kind of look up people. Just, just kind of figure out what's going on. And you just start putting your own story together. We got Scorpion here. And we got Mercury. Yeah. Yep, yeah. This could be Scorpion, a set of Scorpion Twin Flames here. Mm-hmm. Didn't I tell you Capricorn was going to show up? The 12th house. I'm sorry. Piscean. And Scorpion. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Scorpion and heavy um, Piscean energy as well is here. Damn, I mean, a heavy Scorpio. Woo! So I'm talking to a, a spiritual, yep, a spiritual marriage that involves Gemini, the sun signs, and scorpions. All right, I saw Virgo twice too, so Virgo's in the house. So this could be your soulmate or your twin flame here. If I call any of those signs. All right, any of your placements, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to shut it down right here. I hope this helps you out in more ways than one. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hit all on both channels so you stay tuned in when you're getting your messages. And it also keeps you tapped into your spiritual conversations. And I will see you the next time you stop by in your video upload. I'll show you in a month.